prayer for addiction, recovery and healing. My Holy Father God, today I come before your divine presence to humbly ask you to help me live my bad habits and bad customs, because these have turned into a vicious circle in my life, making me a slave to sin just as our Lord Jesus described it in John chapter 8 verse 34 and Jesus answered them verily verily I say unto you whosoever commits sin is a slave of sin father God this type of behavior is destroying my life and dragging my soul into the slavery of sin for how can I say I do good if I cannot even do God's will, because what I do not want to do is what I do, and what I do is not even my will, because I do not want to do it, but I still end up doing it. This reminds me of Apostle Paul experienced when he suffered these same problems, described in Romans chapter 7 verse 15. For what I am doing, I do not understand. For what I will to do, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. Paul goes on to describe these issues in Romans chapter 7 verse 23. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. As a consequence, Paul exclaims in Romans chapter 7 verse 24, O wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Most Holy Father God, the Apostle Paul describes exactly what happens to me because I have lost control of my own behavior because I do what I do not want to do. Sin has taken over and is controlling my habits. My God, your holy word says that we must crucify the flesh just as it is described in Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. For those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. To which we understand that to crucify the flesh is to renounce the desires of the flesh and the desires of this world, because those who have crucified the flesh follow the steps of our Lord Jesus, described in Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Therefore, we renounce the desires of the flesh and the world in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus confirmed it in Mark chapter 8 verse 34, and he called the multitude and his disciples to him, and said unto them, If any man would come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. Therefore, we must deny ourselves, because when we deny ourselves, we deny our sinful will and sinful nature, which in turn will make us free from the desires of the flesh and of the world. By denying to do our sinful will, we will be fully embracing the desires and will of our Heavenly Father. By following the steps of His Son and Savior Jesus Christ in our lives. Consequently, my will, which is bound to the flesh and its desires, I no longer follow, because I am adopting the will of my Heavenly Father as my own, whose divine and holy will shall flood my mind with the thoughts of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. Thus, achieving our freedom in Christ Jesus, as described in Romans chapter 6 verse 6, knowing this, that our old man was crucified with Christ, that our body of sin might be destroyed, so that we should no longer be slaves of sin.
and this is confirmed in Colossians chapter 3 verse 5. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body dead to fornication, impurity, passions, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Thank you, Holy Father God, for opening my eyes to the truth of your Holy Word, because it is written that the truth will set us free, as confirmed by our Lord Jesus himself in John chapter 8, verses 31 to 32. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And to remain in your word is to do the holy will of the Father, whose divine and most holy will we adopt as our own, and therefore the Father's will comes to completely replace our old sinful will. My divine Father God, please guide my steps to walk in the Spirit and not in the flesh, just as your word confirms it in Galatians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18. Walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh, for the flesh lusts against the Spirit and the Spirit against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other, so that you do not do the things that you wish. Therefore, in the divine name of my Lord God, Jesus Christ, I declare and renounce this world and all the world represents. I also renounce Satan and all that he represents, and I renounce the flesh and its desires and all that the flesh represents, in my Lord God Jesus' name. Most Holy Heavenly Father, please make me hate the sense of the flesh, make me hate what you hate, and detest what you detest. Make me love what you love, and want what you want. May your holy values become mine, and may your most holy will become mine as well. Thank you, Eternal Father God, for all your help, love, protection, and all you do for me and my family. I pray and declare all of this in the name of my Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.